Okay, um, uh, the question today is from our friend Miss uh, Mayrath. I hope I pronounced her name right. Uh, um, I'm going to turn that music down. That's my rap or May rap playing in the background. She says, hey, Raymond, thanks to the creative live show. It helped open my mind. Here's what she's looking for. She's based in Tel Aviv. She's recently played and recorded with some major Israeli singers. But she wants to get out of the classical world and into the rock pop film industries. Okay. First off, May Rob, and again, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Um, I'm going to be honest. I'm I enjoy classical music, but I'm not a classical music expert by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but uh, I think I can help you here a little bit. First off, um, you, the stuff I looked at your website, and the stuff you have on your website is terrific. You know, the playing is terrific, and you're obviously a pro at what you're doing, and uh, that that's clear. Um, but it sounds to me like you want to transition out of the straight classical into this pop, rock, film industries, and what I don't see on your website or don't hear on your music <clears throat> on your website is any examples of how or, or examples of you actually doing that right now. And I think it's important that if you're looking to transition from an area where you've built some credibility and comfort to do something that's a little bit different, you need to be able to show people um, what that's going to sound like and what that's going to feel like. Um, one of the things I loved on your website is I saw a video of you playing around with the idea of classical music with the uh, with your little, I don't know what you call it, the reed, and then assembling your oboe. I thought that had a great bit of personality and was clever and lighthearted and kind of took the uh, piss out of the classical thing in a, in a gentle way. Um, what would be fun for me to see is um, you're you working with these other these Israeli music artists that you talked about? It would be fun if you had a video of that. It would be fun to hear something so I could get a sense of what it's all about. Um, I will tell you that if you're looking to get into the pop, you know, and rock and film industries, you're going to have plenty of competition uh, in those areas with some very established players, the likes of John Williams, Hans Zimmer, uh, Danny Elfman. Um, you know, all kinds of people, some that started in the classical world like John Williams and some that started in the rock world, uh, in the pop world like Hans Zimmer and Danny Elfman. So um, those people, all of them, the three people, and those are three of the biggest people in, in that area of the business, all live here in Los Angeles. They work in the heart of uh, the film industry. So I think um, location could potentially be an issue for you. Um, how to get touring and so forth. Uh, again, I've, I work in the touring business and been a part of that for a very long time. Way back when I actually booked uh, some classical concerts through the uh, orchestra at a, at a venue here in Southern California. Um, and at a certain level, booking is not much different than uh, in the pop rock business, except there are, there are agents that specialize in, um, in the classical area. I was talking with a friend last night at a show here in Los Angeles who represents uh, Danny Elfman. Uh, he used to be in a band, if you don't know, called Oingo Boingo. And he's doing um, a, a whole, he's doing three nights at the Nokia Theater, which is a 7,000 seat venue here in Los Angeles, where he's playing the classical music or the music that he's put together for numerous movies, many of which were done with Tim Burton. And, uh, and that was booked through a traditional agent. So I think the main thing is, it's great that you're looking to get outside your comfort zone. I, I love that, uh, that spirit of just doing it. Um, but if you're going to change your game a little bit, you're going to need to show people what that looks like. So put a video up of you working in a pop rock context, you know. Give them some examples of, of, uh, of how that's going to work, and I think you'll be better off. And I'm also going to teach you a little something here today, too. There's a friend of mine by the name of Matthias Roder who I met when Mike Einziger, the guitar player in Incubus, went back to uh, Harvard to learn about music composition. And Mikey now is working in the space that you're looking to get into. And he introduced me to this gentleman, Matthias Roder, who grew up in the classical world, whose wife is trying to do what you do. She's a terrific classically trained pianist, and she's looking to do some of the same things you're looking to do. So I'm going to send your note along to Matthias Roder, who I think understands where you're coming from and has a good idea about where you're going. And I'm going to see if he can help me. So I'm going to probably post a part two to this, but I hope this helps you today. So thanks for asking. Uh, thanks for joining us at Creative Live. 
and uh, I look forward to hearing some big things from you there, Mayor Rod.